Well, hello guys and welcome back to something I didn't expect to be doing again. As you might have remembered, last time this happened, I said this will be the last time I will do a loot anime unboxing. And here's why, and then I gave some reasons, which included paying custom fees and the crate being fairly shit. Well, I did it again. I gave in and got another loot anime box. You might wonder why. Why would you do that, Ruben, after the last one was such a disappointment to you and you received so much hate on that video? Well, Steinsgate was in it. Steinsgate was in it, one of my favorite, literally my favorite anime of all time. And it also had Dragon Ball Z, Kill a Kill, which both are really, I really liked. And Akame Ga Kill, which is kind of a shit show, but it was kind of entertaining. So I thought maybe if there's like a collectible of it in it, maybe it'll be cool. But I got it. So let's, let's try and open it up, shall we? Let's try and open it up. Let's do a little one of these. Swing. And whank, that's opened. Let's see what's inside. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Da -da 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 -da. What's this? What have we got here? We've got a t-shirt on the top. Now, last time we had a Naruto t-shirt that people seemed to like, but I really didn't. I thought the design was kind of stupid. Now, here we have a new one. It's white, which I like. I don't have many white t-shirts. And it looks like it's a Kill a Kill t-shirt. Now, I will say that I do like the design of this. I kind of like the design. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Um, the likelihood of me wearing it in public, less likely because, well, I mean, it's very obviously an anime shirt, and an anime shirt of... Kill a kill at that, which has many, many scatterly clad women in it. And I'm not sure of that. Well, you know, maybe fuck it, you know? It doesn't matter what people think. I'll wear whatever the heck I want. We have a piece. So that's a good item, look at that. First positive point. Ooh, very important point I have to mention. Didn't have to pay custom fees. I don't know how they did it. It's still worth more than 30 euros, which would mean I would have to pay it, but I didn't have to, so two plus points, two redemption redemption points in this tale of redemption. That's what, I'm, that's what the title of this video is, I think. Go away with this plastic. What have we got? Akamega Kill. What's this? It um, looks like it's a canvas bag, or would you say a tote bag? Is that what you call these? Um, if we take a look at the design here, Akamega Kill 2014 Resp slash SE, looks like we've got the weapons from the show on this thing. We've got the gun from the pink haired girl and the sword of the main character and the scissor of the girl who. Ooh, well, I guess. Spoiler alert. Is that a spoiler alert? Sorry, I'll bleep it out. Yup, so that's this one. Oh, <laughs> holy shit! Okay, wait, can I show this? It's currently hung up on the light. <laughs> Moving on, shall we? Oh, by the way, it's called Equip. It's in the title, you knew, you knew. I'm seeing something very interesting here. This looks pretty cool. Dragon Ball's counter? Oh, my review on that tote bag. Kind of a cool design, I guess. So here we've got a scouter. It says how to play. It's got instructions on how to put it together because we're all 10 year olds, probably. Um, I gotta open the backs. There you go. Open the damn backs. Uh, looks like it's a red scouter. That's pretty cool. Pretty tight. Pretty tight. Uh, oh, it comes in various forms. I'll have to put this together and we'll cut back in just a sec. Shwing, shwing, shwing. Oh gosh, knife on the ground. Clunk. Oh boy. Uh, this is an adjustable. So, I have a big head. Bigger than this, probably. Let's see if it... Let's see if it fits. Kinda. 
I guess. Here we go. It's, um, yeah, it doesn't actually fit my head. It's quite huge, but it does sort of stay in place. Okay, so this doesn't stick to my head because it's huge, but we gotta do the, we gotta do the thing. So here we go. Let me sit right here and go like, Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000, ah! And that's Chris Savitt's version. Now let's see if we can do the the original version. Uh, there you go, that was... <laughs> so that was the Scouter, pretty cool. That's another retribution point. That's three now, pretty cool. Uh, what's this? We've got this one. Still haven't gotten the, um... Oh, it's, it's held together by literally some cello tape. Uh, profesh, very profesh loot anime. Like it, love it. Uh, let's open it up. Ooh, what is this? Is this, oh, it's Monster Hunter Ultimate. Uh, Rathalo's sword pen replica from Loot Crate and Capcom. Ooh, look at that. That looks pretty cool. Uh, Ooh, okay. So that's pretty nice. I haven't played Monster Hunter because I don't really like the gameplay, but this looks pretty dang cool. This is a pretty nice item. So that's, uh, that's another retribution point right there. The moment I've been waiting for. The Steinsgate item. It's... It's a manga. It's, it's Steins Gate manga. I mean, is this a, is this an original story? Nope. This is definitely just the anime that I've watched four times. Well, that's a, that's a disappointment and a half, I gotta tell ya. I was really looking forward to getting a stupid metal uber! Of course I don't get that, because that would have been cool! Dang it, whole box ruined. Dang it, lo loot crate and your loot anime and your pretty good items in the in the equip crate, except for the one that I look forward to most. You ruined it. It's, it's a freaking manga. Why would I want a manga of something that I've already consumed? Let's be real here for a second, guys. It's pretty not. It's pretty okay getting a manga in this. I think it's good. The the Seven Deadly Sins one I hadn't I hadn't consumed that medium yet, so that was cool. But I'm I'm sure there were people. I don't think I don't think putting manga in is a great idea unless it's like completely new and people have never had that possibility to read it before. That's my only gripe with this box. Oh, there's some candy, green apple candy. Um, that's got nothing to do with anime, so <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it on the ground. Uh, but that's, I guess that's a bonus item. And we've got this, uh, we've got the phone charm thing, which has a sword on it. It's got a sword. Uh, so yeah, that's my only gripe. It's a much, much improved over the first crate, which I, in my opinion, was pretty much shit. Um, but, uh, it's not as disappointing as it was before. And they did say that if I did get struck with custom fees again, they would just refund it again, which is good service. Uh, but yeah, look at the poster. This looks real nice. I really like the artist, Rossuri, who did the uh, who did the art. This looks really good. Uh, but yeah, all in all, jokes aside from last time, hopefully this time I won't get 70 plus dislikes again. <laughs> Anywho, uh, yeah, pretty good crate. Aside from the, the the item I really wanted something cool from, which would have been Metal Looper, it's even a thing you clip on your keychain. It would have been equipped. It would have been perfect for the theme. Why didn't they put a Metal Looper in it? But they put a manga in it. It's fine. It's fine. I'm good. I'm good. I've got the bag. I've got the t-shirt. I've got the scout up. What does the scouter say, Vegeta? It's over 9,000. And that's it. That's Loot Crate. Loot Anime. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like button. If you want to get loot anime, oh, I guess I should restate that. Should I get loot anime? Maybe, 
if the theme speaks to you, then there might be some good items in it for you. And there might also be an, a, a manga in it that you've already read. But that's fine. Check it out. Do whatever you want. Hit the like button if you did enjoy. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This was a long video. It's like, I'm looking at it, it's like 30, 40 minutes. Jesus Christ. Okay. See you guys. Peace. Peace.